So, what are we gonna do today, eh? Hmm? Well, everything's looking bright and you see a bit of a neighborhood springing up. I mean, closing out. Um, this fellow here, somebody. So, who is this person who's erected a what's basically a large wooden bunker? Right in front of my front gate, more or less. So who's that? That's, uh, what is it? Blue Sky Studios. Okay, they're not on at the moment. Hmm. Funny, um. It's looking quite, uh, birchy, I suppose. Ooh. Dark. But yes, um, actually, while I'm here. Might as well um, do something about the trees. Yes, yeah, good idea to do something about the trees, don't you think? So, oh, oh, Zam. One bit of bone meal later. Where's the other one? Where's another one? There it is. Make it Zam Acacia. This is about time that I uh, replenished my collection of trees. Acacia! Oh, no, no, yes, there was the other one there. Acacia! There we are. Plenty of acacia trees. That would be wonderful. As we poodle around. Yes, um, on the hill there, you can't quite see it because I'm not looking at it, but. Uh, is a building that um, I constructed for. Oh, bother. Naughty chicken. I wanted a feather. Ah, oh, well, I can probably. Um, are there any other wild chickens around? Wild, wild chickens. Hmm. Not any. And there's a wild pig, though. I don't really need one of those at the moment. I'm noticing a lot of these glitches in Minecraft recently where lighting just isn't happening. Hmm. Nobody in that cave. Nothing in that cave worth mention. Hmm. What about in here? When you think about it, it's quite an elaborate. Or at least it just looks pretty big. Hmm. Hmm. Getting a bit distracted, obviously. My sticks. Okay. So we're going down, down to Copeland Town. Oh, no. No, it's in there. It is getting a bit late, I suppose. But in any case, if, um... Blue Sky Studios ever need windows or anything like that, I'm quite happy to make them for you. Just have to uh, visit, that's all. I think I'll leave that pig there. In any case, um, you know, there's somebody on the hill, um, there's Crystal Crafter, I think, uh, erecting that structure over there. So, I just, I'm actually beginning to wonder, just me thinking here, that um, this is probably a natural distance for people to get from the hub heading east when they say, okay, sod it, I've had enough, I'm not going any further. I'll just, um... Oh, hang on, this one is... Okay. There we go. Now that uh, trunk has got something to stand on. Um... Yeah. I'm not quite sure what the uh, do is with that. Let's see if we can get to... Get some chickens. Anybody else got eggs? Have you got eggs, chickens? Hmm. No oh, more chickens. Anyway, let's go for a bit of a walkabout, shall we? Okay, so here we are in Second Life, mainly because I'm bored, and we're back in New Babbage, as you can probably tell. Uh, at the moment, I'm just about to go on a little excursion, just because. Sometimes it's nice in Second Life to just grab a vehicle and go excursioning. 
even in the soot infested air of New Babbage. And you can trust the air of New Babbage because you can see the air of New Babbage. I mean, how can you trust air you cannot see? Hmm? Hard to tell. In any case, um, I'm obviously trying to find out where my oars have got to. I have a set of oars. I thought I had one in my regular um, inventory, which is a bit annoying. Where is it? Oh, I must have uh, deleted them by mistake. I mean, I can't remember if you have to uh, click on the oars that are leaning against the wall. You can't see them in this light very well, unfortunately. In order to get them, or... Um, oh, I wish I could remember. I've got a right pillock doing this. In any case, uh, what the thing I'm standing next to is the uh, Seven Seas dispenser of luxuries and necessities for Seven Seas fishing. Particularly if you're going to be stalking the wily wiggy fish, the national bird of... Yes, let's get parked. Okay, we're ready. The flannelled fool is about to set sail. And now I know that uh, when you mount a boat, especially one of Tuff's little blue rowboats, you get off at them right away. In any case, time to turn into the canals. Now, I rather like Tuff's uh, vehicle system and because it's actually quite simple you press the forward key to start moving and the back key to stop moving or go into reverse okay there's the now I can you can see both of my oars at the same time nice as we uh, start rowing past the local power station yes I can assure you that a lot of that madness up in the top right corner is the power station as we row, 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 row boats gently along the canal. Speaking of canals, uh, the canals open into the Babbage sewers, and I've got a bit of scripting to do for an upcoming hunt, which has to be done fairly quickly, I think. Is there some kind of tame dust devil up there? Yeah, there is. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. In any case, let's get uh, rowing as we head towards Wheatstone Waterways. Originally, um, I had some mad ideas before I realised how things were going to be regarding um, purchasing an entire block in the northeastern corner of Wheatstone. I had uh, demented plans for it, but uh, fortunately it never came about. That's the thing, of course, um, you make plans and you don't realise that your life is about to uh, explode on you. As we get closer and closer, is, is that somebody's airship that appears to be loose at its moorings? I can't tell. Um, anyway, that's obviously somebody... I can't tell if that's just a mission that's gone bad, or if somebody is uh, building here, and of course, being new Babbage, it's the rigueur to cloak your build in scaffolding. It looks like scaffolding to me. There's a great big tower as well. Nice. There's um, one of the many statues that is around. But as you can see, um, the standard new Babbage wind light assumes that there is no ambient light at all. Then again, when you've got lots of soot in the air, it probably sucks all the light out of everything. In any case, it is actually rather strangely relaxing to log into Second Life and just muddle around in boats or steam-powered vehicles or motor vehicles or sailboats, actually. I've got a rather nice sailboat, which I might show you later on as we start heading north out of Wheatstone Waterways. That thing on the uh, wall is a rental board. And, well, I'm going to also be honest, recently I've been having technical difficulties. Um, I'm recording this on Saturday night because I'm feeling a bit pissed off and so I just want something mindless and relaxing and pleasurable. Um, I've just discovered, after months of worrying that my power supply was uh, going down the tubes, that what's really happening is that I'm trying to turn on my computer with an, ex with an external USB hard disk drive um, still plugged in. What's going on here? Oh, right. Um, technical talk from the builder's brewery. 
But in any case, speaking of technical talk, I've discovered, or I thought I should say that today I learned that you do not keep your external drives plugged in, even as you head into Iron Bay, like we're doing here. So we can see um, the machinery of Iron Bay chugging away. Some of it I'm not quite certain what it's all about. But it seems to make sense in a city whose uh, motto it seems to be what could possibly go wrong? I mean, what is that thing anyway? Damnedest device. In any case, we can see um, the building with the lightning apparently perpetually striking it is Parks Labs, or so I'm told. And there's some ratty old, oh, just beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't adjust the color on this, but I probably will anyway, because it looks very film noirish, steam noirish, I suppose you could say. As we row, row, row our way along, row, row merrily on high. As you can see, I'm considered quite good in that. In any case, after I've finished messing around with the, um, this podcast later tonight, I'm going to have to get back to scripting. I'm not looking forward to it, actually. Now, what is this thing? Let's see, what is this? It's a uh, waterborne soot recovery and redistribution apparatus. Yours, and then something about safety, I believe. We believe in your safety and the Tooth Fairy, indeed. That wasn't particularly safe to get close to that uh, infernal device. Goodness gracious me. I mean, I don't know why they're just uh, chucking it back into the blooming sea. I mean, you babbage sort of is a delicacy. In the same way that the wiggy fish is. I mean, for heaven's sake, there's nothing wrong with a good take good meal of wiki fish, you know, and, and uh, setting it up for the table, very easy, you have, um, what do you have, oh yes, that's right, you have uh, your fish fork, your fish knife, and um, right next to the, and right above the plate, or actually right below it, for e e easy and convenient uh, grabbing, the wiki fish hammer, oh, there's somebody's uh, little boathouse, ain't it lovely, with a hammock and everything, mm. But yes, you've got to be careful. I mean, it doesn't even matter how thoroughly you fillet, bone, and cook your wiki fish. The little sods can be rather, um, enthusiastic. Uh, make that very enthusiastic. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull up at the lighthouse dock here. Sounds good enough to me. So, just have to row in, row out, row shake it all about. Um, that, that um tower we saw in the distance with the lightning bolt, I think I said this before, I'm not quite sure, uh, belongs to Parks Labs and they are not uh, the sort of people who are very welcoming of strangers. But then again, um, when you deal with laboratory business, you probably don't want people around. They're either trying to take your... They're either trying to steal your secrets or they are suicidal. Anyway, uh, what am I going to do? Oh, that's right. I'm going to tie up here, more or less. So let's uh, replace oars with, where is that bamboo cane? Well, isn't that annoying? Uh, typical. The one thing you want and you can't find it. Um, oh, where is the blast thing? Ah, oh, never mind. I'll go to my outfit. Rave of outfits. There we are. Because a gentleman needs his support. For elderly couples. Okay, there we are. We stand up in the boat and oh, and any moment now, whoa blah, ta da! Not bad for a gentleman. Hmm? Thank you, Mr. P, for showing us around the canals. Ah oh, well, back to Minecraft, and it's another lovely. Oh, this is skeleton and chainmail. I did. A bow, power three, but absolutely cack order. Um, are there any other? Yes, there is. There is uh, a skeleton in gold. I'm not really sure I'm in gold. I'd be more respectful, respectful of them if they were clad in iron, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, um, there's another of my neighbours uh, off to the east there. Looks like a creeper hole. And, 
uh, they're building this enormous sandstone. I'm not quite sure what it is actually. You can see there's a lot of substance here as well. This is the impression I get as we sprint along. Hmm, cobblestone base and uh, quite a bit of carved sandstone as well. It actually looks quite nice. Very flash actually. Well, aside from the enormous um, pits that have been dug around it. I'm beginning to wonder if that's deliberate at all. I don't know this. It's like a... This is a huge trench. An absolutely ginormous trench. Bizarre. Um, actually, along that way somewhere is somebody's uh, nether portal, which they've created. But I don't go, often go there anymore. Um, the nether... Well, then, overdue for a reset, I think. So you've got these, um, well, I suppose you call them gunslets. That's a good name, is any? As we run around, so we've got this kind of moat business going on. That's probably what they've dug it all out for. A sort of big moat that only uh, sprinting Minecrafters can cross. Okay, let's try that again. Sprinting Minecraft, here we go, one, two, three, hood, point. Hello. Who owns this place? Nobody. Yet. Well, somebody must have owned this place. It's, it's actually quite nice. Birch, um... I guess these are birch doors. You know what they, you know what they want? It's actually pretty stylish. So I got a and... Let's see. Construction site, I suppose. No, what's this? Who's that fella? Area 117 is probably in need of a need some gold shovels to claim. But in any case, uh, let's get back to what I was doing. I mean, I was after a feather, and I've got my feather, but I need um, some squid ink now. But to do that, I need squid. Now, squid normally spawn in any body of water, but it uh, seems to be a bit on the ground recently. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Clay Deposit. No, no one here. Do, do. Oh, well. Kind of everything, I suppose. Another one of uh, Blue Sky Studios' bunkers. And huge descent into the pit. I mean, I don't... Anybody who's seen my mining knows that I don't do that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, swanky castle in a swanky location. Ooh, crystal craft is looking nice. Very nice. I might um, see, if I, see if I can collect some flowers. Actually, there's a very simple way. I suppose that there's flowers around. Yep, now I've got a flower. Let's see if I can find some more flowers. Or I can grow some more flowers. Oh, somebody's making a windmill over there. Nice. Right here. Yes, there's a white tulip. It's a pity actually you can't um oh didn't see that, never seen that before. Normally there's a sush and there's uh flies. Flies! Uh, what about here? Oh yes we get um, well we get um I can't remember what it's called here, your bleep or something like that. Or am I thinking of something else altogether? There's a dandelion. Maybe I should um, just offer the use of my. What do you call that thing? Oh, yes. The golden shovel to people. Although the last time that I let somebody have my golden shovel, oh, God, it's raining. Yes, 
because last time I had a nine inch one I had one called a shovel. Um I'm just gonna never give it back. Used it? And then said, uh, Echoes, will you please go away? No. Oh, did you see that? Four for one egg. I don't know how often that happens. Not often, I suspect. But yes, I'll we'll have plenty of chickens. There'll be winner winner chicken dinner today. Um, well, anyway. Anyway, it's a little later now. So I go out side for a bit and uh, I had a bit of a think and I had for excess food so I made a dispenser and basically I'm putting my left putting my excess food in here so if you want food and you're in the neighborhood just push the button and out it comes isn't that lovely and I've still got enough left over for myself and um, some chicken to cook but for now what am I gonna do uh, Oh, that's right, yes, it's uh, still raining, I believe. But actually, I do have... Um, what was it I was looking for? Yes, that's sand. I don't know why, it looks like something else altogether. Or maybe it's just bleached out by being next to all those uh, birch planks. Um, now what was I looking for? I can't quite remember exactly, but... Um, also, I'm a bit bored. My acacia plantation is coming up nicely. Actually, most of these trees are in the public domain, so if you want one, you can just chop one down. Um, my oak tree is just looking gorgeous. I had another oak tree that was that big, very close to the entrance of my house, and um, you know, ooh, somebody got caught using X-ray. I mean, I don't use that. I just use um, a straightforward method of strip mining the place and uh, depending on whether or not I need the cobble I'll backfill the caverns that I make. Anyway, I'm going to visit the nether just because I haven't visited the nether for a long time and if anybody wants some free food now you know where to go. I'm not sure if any, just anyone can use my um... oh I see sand... bits of sandstone. No, I've no idea who blast in these caves. I mean, when you think about it, actually, it does look rather... it does look organic and flash. Um, and here's that uh, trench that... Um, what's his name? 117. Just basically did. In any case, uh, we'll hop down. Ouch, ouch, it always happens. Yes, it's still raining. Lovely. Sometimes I come in here and it always seems to be night and it always seems to be rainy. But that might just be my bad luck. So, um, I don't know who, I can't exactly know who made this, um, nether portal here. Seemingly in the middle of nowhere. But, ooh, that looks a bit scary. And it's dangerous, so, oh. Okay, so that's a uh, Suomo. That's a uh, Sumo1345 permission. I can't quite read in this preview. Anyway, let's go have a look in the nether. And I keep forgetting you can make nether portals that are bigger than, um... Uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Wait. Oh, hang on, there's another nether portal up there. I never saw that before. I really should have brought my... flint, so that I could light that tunnel along. Hmm. It goes into... Is that another? No, it isn't. Anyway, where does this go? Let's go in and see. Here we are. Where are we? We're in the desert. But we're in the desert. I'm not sure, but I do like these elevated houses. They look quite neat. I'm not quite sure what this business is about. Though it looks uh, quite pleasant too. So that's uh, Josh Copter's things. Well, a lot of things too. What is up to? There's lots and lots of dogs. Very dogs. And melon. Well, pumpkin to me. And bits of tree left levitating into the sky and a mysterious cobblestone pillar. In any case, um, what I think I'll do is I'll go up to this big glassy area. Ooh. It's got a oil block. Oh, what's it saying here? Why so close? 
creepy. Uh, hmm. Well, it's expensive, I have to say. Now, who's this? Let me see. Hmm. Having a look around. Hmm. Redstone lamp. Cute. So it goes up and up. It's. Oh, you can run. I don't know why, but I find it rather cute that you can run around on the roof there. So let's just go up and up and up, and here's a... Oh, somebody... Somebody's blocked off this, um... Near the portal for some reason. Funny. I wonder if they're making, um... I thought, when I saw it, I thought, oh, hang on, are they preparing to make a... Pig farm? Which I doubt. It's probably just blocked off for a reason, or somebody being a smart aleck. Now, how, where's the... Where's the stairs? I can't find a way down. Where are the stairs? I don't really want to just... drop. I mean, I, oh. Of course. Yes, I had that same question when I was making a dispenser. I couldn't remember either. So, there we go. Ow. Oops. Oh, I fell in. Shopping malls on Sunday afternoons. Watching Grandma vomit with a spoon. Ma, can, can I hear a skeleton? Martin Orange is nothing but a juicy pumpkin. I must be getting tired and it's almost ready for bed. Oh, there's a, an empty doubt village. I wonder if it's the same emptied out village that I saw early, saw earlier on, um, several weeks back actually, or at least two or three podcasts ago. So anyway, it's, oh, it's sunset, but I do like what they've done with the entrance there. Oh, and they made um, an acacia log deck. Nice. Very flash. Well, no skeletons, but there's a chicken. You ran over a snake in a road train while I was, in, while I was a nozzy. <laughs> Nothing wrong with running over snakes and road trains. It's more fun than running over cane toads. Open season on cane toads. So what is this thing over here? It's all very curious and uh, inquisitive. Ink. And here we go up and up and up and up and up. up, 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 up. It's, well, I see an iron golem, a chicken, and lots of villagers. I've got a sneaking suspicion that, um, that's where, well, at least we know where all the villagers are gone. Oh, there's another structure over there, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Bonk. Bonk. Say, chicken thing, throw eggs at me. Okay, um, I'm going to have to take offense at that sign because, it, because uh, the apostrophe is possessive and, oh, hang on. It, so, is there anything else? Yes, grandma, bit of a grandma wonk here. Throw eggs in me with an apostrophe. Suggests that you are going to throw something that belongs to an egg. Or what are you going to throw into the egg? Hmm. Is it about to say something? No. I don't know if that uh, zombie can get into the villages, but while we're here, I'm just going to have some fun. One clear wallop. Fun! Silly old zombie. Ah, what fun. Ah, this has been a pretty boring thing. I think it's been a pretty boring weekend. Come on up to get... Oh, stabbied! Ah, well. Well, there's not that much I can say more except for, well, for one thing. And that's pretty much... Um, what can I say? Well, I can say good night, I think, so I will. Good night.